When people typically reflect on the civil rights movement, their minds often turn to Martin Luther King Jr. his iconic, I have a dream, speech at the Lincoln Memorial in 1963, and his receipt of the Peace Prize in the following year solidified his position as the foremost advocate of nonviolent mass protest in the 1960s. However, it's crucial to recognize that the success of this movement was built upon the groundwork laid by passionate leaders who preceded him, among them Malcolm X, Malcolm X's journey, marked by profound personal transformation and an unwavering commitment to justice, serves as a testament to the power of resilience and the pursuit of truth. Malcolm X was a unique kind of leader, a true trailblazer whose spirit was forged in the crucible of adversity. Born into a society that sought to restrict his potential, he transcended the limitations imposed upon him, emerging as a symbol of resilience and determination. Through his steadfast dedication to civil rights, he paved the way for an entire generation to discover their voices, purposes, and empowerment. This video delves into the life and times of Malcolm X, peeling back the layers to reveal a man whose indomitable spirit and unwavering commitment to justice left an enduring mark on history. From his humble beginnings to his transformative journey of self-discovery, we witness the evolution of a mind that dared to question and challenge the prevailing narratives of his era. Malcolm X's early life was marked by hardship and struggle. His parents, Earl and Louise Little, were courageous fighters against racial injustice, but their activism exposed them to significant threats from white supremacist groups such as the Ku Klux Klan and the Black Legion. Malcolm X tragically lost his father to a brutal murder, and his mother suffered a mental breakdown, leading to their separation and placement in foster homes. As a young man, Malcolm X faced discrimination and was told by a white teacher that pursuing a career in law was unrealistic for a black person. He moved to Harlem, New York, where he became involved in criminal activities and was eventually sentenced to 10 years in prison for burglary. However, it was during his incarceration that he embarked on a transformative journey of self-improvement, immersing himself in education and reading extensively. Malcolm X's introduction to the teachings of the Nation of Islam, an organization advocating for black separatism and self-determination, marked a pivotal moment. He became a member of the Nation of Islam, and his powerful oratory skills and physical presence quickly garnered respect and attention. In 1957, Malcolm X gained national recognition after a violent incident involving the police and Nation of Islam members. He continued to rise within the organization, expanding its membership and influence. The FBI began monitoring him closely, shifting their focus from his potential communist affiliations to his rapid ascent within the Nation of Islam. Tragic events, including the brutal attack on Nation of Islam members by lap officers and the killing of Ronald Stokes, led Malcolm X to advocate for violent retaliation against the police. However, his proposals were rejected by Elijah Muhammad, the leader of the Nation of Islam. Tensions between Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad grew due to rumors of Muhammad's extramarital affairs, and Malcolm's exposure of these rumors strained their relationship further. Malcolm X's public revelation of these affairs and his criticism of the Nation of Islam's handling of these issues, led to his suspension from speaking publicly for 90 days. In March 1964, Malcolm X officially split from the Nation of Islam, announcing his plans to establish a black nationalist organization focused on political awareness for African Americans. He sought collaboration with other civil rights groups and expressed his intention to publish his autobiography. His departure from the Nation of Islam was marked by controversy, including his remarks on the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Malcolm X's decision to part ways with the Nation of Islam was rooted in his belief that the organization's rigid teachings had reached their limit. He envisioned a new path forward for the advancement of African-American rights. After departing from the Nation of Islam, Malcolm X established two new organizations. One was the Muslim Mosque Incorporated, MMI, which centered on religious matters and the other was the Organization of Afro-American Unity, a secular group advocating for Pan-Africanism. During this period, he had a brief encounter with Martin Luther King Jr., their only meeting, occurring in Washington, D.C., while both attended a Senate debate on the Civil Rights Bill. This brief encounter allowed for photographs to be taken. 
In April, Malcolm X delivered a speech titled, The Ballot or the Bullet, where he urged African Americans to exercise their voting rights wisely while cautioning that if the government continued to deny them full equality, they might need to consider resorting to armed resistance. In April 1964, Malcolm X embarked on a journey to Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, to participate in the Hajj, the obligatory pilgrimage for Muslims. His American citizenship and inability to speak Arabic led to initial skepticism about his status as a Muslim upon arrival in Jeddah. However, he was eventually released with the help of a book titled The Eternal Message of Muhammad by Abdul Rahman Hassan Azam, which he received along with his visa approval. In Jeddah, he was designated as a state guest by Prince Faisal, and the experience of witnessing Muslims from various backgrounds interact as equals during the Hajj profoundly impacted him. It made him consider Islam as a potential solution to racial issues. During a visit to Africa, Malcolm X expressed strong disdain for Moïse of the Congo, whom he viewed as an Uncle Tom figure. He accused Moïse of being the worst African ever born and of committing the international crime of murdering Patrice Lumumba. Malcolm X criticized Moïse's use of white mercenaries to suppress the Simba rebellion, alleging that these mercenaries committed war crimes against the Congolese people. Upon returning to the United States, Malcolm X condemned the U.S. government for supporting Moïse and what he called his hired killers, the white mercenaries. He expressed his anger about Operation Dragon Rouge, in which the U.S. Air Force dropped Belgian paratroopers into Stanleville, now known as Kisangani, to rescue white Belgian hostages from the Simbas. He argued that there was a double standard in valuing white and black lives, with the international community prioritizing the protection of white lives, while neglecting the abuses inflicted on the Congolese by Moïse's mercenaries. In December 1964, Malcolm X participated in a debate at the Oxford Union Society, where he rejected the label of black Muslim and emphasized being a Muslim who happened to be black, reflecting his conversion to Sunni Islam. He deliberately minimized references to his religion in his speech to challenge his image as an angry black Muslim extremist. Malcolm X continued to support black nationalism, advocating for self-determination for the African-American community even though he started to re-evaluate this stance in the final months of his life. He met with North African revolutionaries who, despite their appearance as white, fought against racism. In a conversation with Gordon Parks just two days before his assassination, Malcolm X revealed his evolving perspective, acknowledging the global scope of racism's dangers. Throughout 1964, as his conflict with the Nation of Islam escalated, Malcolm X faced repeated threats to his life. These threats included a bomb attack on his car ordered by a leader from Temple No. 7 in February, and a statement by Elijah Muhammad that, hypocrites like Malcolm should have their heads cut off, in March. On February 21, 1965, Malcolm X was assassinated while preparing to deliver a speech at the Audubon Ballroom in Manhattan. He was shot multiple times, and his assassination shocked the nation. Malcolm X's death left an indelible mark on history. His legacy as a prominent and influential African-American continues to inspire generations. He played a vital role in boosting the self-esteem of black Americans, reconnecting them with their African heritage, and contributing to the spread of Islam within the black community. His impact extended to various realms, including popular culture, where characters like Magneto and Eric Killmonger drew inspiration from his teachings. Malcolm X's fearless confrontation of systemic racism and oppression inspired a generation to rise above limitations and fight for their rightful place in society.